So, Silver Birch Ave, March 22nd, Thursday. Just coming out of the lunch. And I'm uh, going to head down to the waterfront. Uh, see if I can find the uh, waterfront trail all the way back uh, to Carlisle, where the uh, bike clinic is at 1 o'clock. going to help folks repair, teach, and uh, help folks uh, to repair their bikes. And uh, at the same time, uh, map the uh, route on the waterfront trail all the way from Silver Birch over to Carla. And uh, see how that goes. bike ramp here. And I'll sneak over here. And I guess this is the boardwalk. This is where it ends. Aha! So the boardwalk ends here. And I think I'll take this little route up there. So Silver Birch is like a marker in the on the city infrastructure on the lakefront here. Interesting. This is definitely a walking trail. Nice. So this is the uh, a rowing club, I was told. Vicky? Oh, you're not Vicky. I thought you were my sister I haven't seen in a few years. <laughs> a rowing club and uh, that little footpath took me around the there and then there's a, a walking path you can sort of get around here and then the bike the waterfront trail starts just over here So the waterfront trail ends at beach. Yes, there it is. What's the sign say? Recreation trail. The Martin Goodman. So they haven't signed it yet as the waterfronttrail.org. So we'll zoom over on this. As best you can zoom through this this public park. See how we get to Carla on this. Uh, serious runner. Okay. Now right down the lake here, it's uh, feels like 15 degrees or so. Should have an extra layer on. I got a I got a golf shirt on and shorts. That's it. Uh, what was I going to 
say. I forgot. I guess the way this is going to go is I'm not going to go down into the portlands and along Onion. I'm going to take the Don uh, Recreation Trail along uh, the north side of Lakeshore. So I already know the route and that will take me by Carlisle. Which, uh, Carlisle Ave goes all the way down to, uh, to Lakeshore. So that's how I'll do it. about 12 noon. Dive for those frisbees into those rocks. Come on. So I was told that these are uh, intended to extend the beach along here. That's what this is about. And the idea is the currents will fill in between these outcroppings. Perhaps you can't see it from here. They're building little isthmuses out into the lake a bit. And the idea is that the lake will fill in that with sand. And uh, make more room down here and the idea is to perhaps uh, from what Brian at the at uh, Silver Birch uh, lunch tour program told me he seemed to know what's going on the uh, the idea is to put this trail which is now inundated by pedestrians in the summer out here although I don't know how that's gonna work They'd have to, you know, you put a wall along there or something. I don't know how that's going to work. Maybe it's just more beach. I don't know. If you're going to make a cycleway along here for commuters, it's a great way to get downtown on this thing. You know, all the way from Scarborough into the core on this bikeway take thousands of cars off the street that way and uh, but I think it would have to be up here I don't know how you'd do that because in the summer this is thousands and thousands of people making candles no yeah bubbles look at this <laughs> wow! Ha <laughs> ha, look at this. Look at that, eh? A physics experiment. Wow! That's what the air looks like. That's beautiful. I'm gonna chase them. So here's here's the lady making them, 
and there they go. Oh, this is fascinating. Look at this. This one may be going to miss the tree. Yeah. I'm cycling underneath it about two, one click an hour. Oh, hit the tree. <laughs> there, she's making more. on film. Let's look at the technology. Look at that. Bubbles coming, bubbles go. <laughs> Good work. Put that up on YouTube. Want your name on YouTube? I can tell, tell people who the bubble maker is if you like. I'll edit you off if you like too. Okay. What's it gonna be under? Bubbles that would bind Oh, cycling. I make cycling uh, movies, okay. uh, sort of give everybody an appreciation of what it's like to cycle on the roads. Today I'm, I'm mapping this Ooh. bike trail from uh, Silver Birch to Carla, where I'm going to a bike repair clinic. I have to get to one of those <laughs> Your bike needs an upgrade? The, uh, I've never been. But the guy I work with at the community health center, South Riverdale Community Health Center, Paul Young, he was he was instrumental in getting that going. So one of these days I'll have to bike up there and do that. Okay. Oh, neat. Okay. All about the air movement, eh? I'm Michael Holloway. Okay. Thank you, Michael Holloway. I'll give you an email and we'll connect. Let's make some children go up here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, <laughs> so we get a close up of the view of the technology here. Look at that. A tube of bubble. Like a string in the universe, eh? Like string theory. A little universes. Oh, we don't, maybe I'm uh, in the in the wind here. <laughs> oh. Well, it's just right for bubbles today, eh? That's just the, about. Little oh, I see. Yeah, the bugs, bugs are popping the bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> look at that, neat. <laughs> Ooh, oh, look out behind you. Kids trying to get in the bucket. <laughs> oh, my chain came off again. Random acts of bubbling. Oh, this is not going to be nice. This is not going to be nice. My hands are so greasy already, and I haven't got it on yet. Uh, yeah, time for a leaf. He wants to make bubbles. He's a maker. <laughs> Chase the bubbles. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. 
Here are at Woodbine. Oh, here's a serious guy. He's got uh, all the bells and whistles and an odometer on there, I see. I wonder how the wind's doing today. I wonder if I can get in his draft. God, he's moving. There we are. It's a little busy for going that fast. You don't mind if I draft a little bit? Yeah, there's absolutely no wind back here. Oh, he took the shortcut. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't know that existed. A lot of work to catch him again, but it's worth it. He's going my way. I'm falling off. Can't keep up with the pace. Alright, coming up on Leslie. I thought I was in good shape. Had a full belly after lunch, that's what I, that's my excuse. He's going my way, eh? He's going up to the Don Rick Trail too. And I'm gonna get to the bike clinic so early. Now, that's an interesting test here. It's a lighted bike lane. Somebody's coming in this pretty quick. Yeah, you shake your head, eh? Is that shaking your head at the city councilors for not putting in proper infrastructure? I had right away there, but she was going about 20 clicks around that corner.
<clears throat> so we're on the Don Wreck Trail here. Head over to Carla, up to Queen. Funny the way that woman shook her head at me as we converged on that corner there. It's bizarre. You're responsible for a 2,000 pound machine and you're laughing. My competitive spirit, my egos won't let me let this guy away now that I'm all rested there's quite a wind coming from the west so getting in his drafts a good plan oh, man this guy's in shape I can't catch him no oh. I can catch him, but once I get there, I'll be dead. <laughs> there he goes. That's Carlotte Delight. That's my right turn. So all the speed that guy got. And his excellent bike, which doesn't rub as much as mine. That's why he beat me. Not because he's in great shape. Head north on Carla. One of the other possible gateways into the Portland. So, uh, the box stores have got Leslie. So this might be the neighborhood that becomes the, the sort of the city gateway into the Parklands. So, uh, buy up an old frame house here and you'll make a million dollars there's a nice bit of driving I'm moving over to the left side in case somebody wants to turn right check make sure there's nobody trying to pass on the right take the middle of my lane again Next is Queen. Still have batteries. I think I got plenty of digital space. These batteries might be getting near end as I approach my destination here bike clinics about a hundred yards to the right I'm gonna sneak around this side and uh, I'll ride the one pedal side saddle here 
not riding on the cycle on the bike on the sidewalk. And here we are at the bike clinic. Oh man, I'm late. I'm late. I didn't think I took that long. All that talking. Hello, Paul Young. Hi. It's spring officially because we're busy as hell. He's trying to keep up with one of those real cyclists on the uh, bicycling trail, trying to draft him. Almost killed me. Not on the No, on the, on the, uh, although I'll bet you that's one of those guys. Because this guy was dressed out, dressed up like Tour de France. So, he's a speeder. Probably a speed bump hating beer. <laughs> All right, I guess we're talking about uh, Tommy Thompson Park uh, put in speed bumps, and none of the cyclists like it very much. And a new group of uh, cyclists has just joined the lobby against them, and uh, not sure who they are. We're thinking they might be. Uh, the speedsters who like to train on that, on the spit. So, we'll see what happens with that. So, this is the South Riverdale Community Health Center Bike Clinic, Thursdays, 1 till 3, all year round. Come here and uh, bring your bike, and uh, volunteers will help you learn how to fix your bike.